morning, everyone. I am coming to you from a brand new kitchen. It is very dirty right now, <laughs> but surprise, we've moved. <laughs> and oh, there is so much uncertainty going on right now. And I want to be a source of encouragement for you at home during this time. So we're gonna try and do a vlog today. Now, our days are actually a little bit better recently because um, the public schools are canceled. <laughs> and um, But we were expecting that this week, Emma would not have band at the middle school because they were supposed to be doing um, their testing, whatever they do for testing at the middle school. And so, she would not have band and we were going to use this week to catch up, which we have. Today is Friday, the 20th of March. And yeah, I had all kinds of great ideas for videos of us moving and everything. And then <laughs> coronavirus happened. And so all of that has kind of gone out the window, but I did want to sort of take you through what we're doing now and hopefully encourage you a little bit. <laughs> We got this great house, new house, mm -hmm. where we have a nice uh, room in the basement for homeschooling. Yeah, but apparently we don't get to use it since Dad's having to work from home. So yes. there goes bring your child to work day. <laughs> We're already at his work, right? No, technically it's bring your father to home day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to be doing some Mom, history. Can I have this apple? Yes, I will give you the apple in just a second, honey. So we have Story of the World, The Modern Age, that we are finishing up this term. We only technically have like 11 school days left until we meet our 175-day uh, requirement for the state. But because we school year-round, we'll just keep on going, won't we? We'll take a little break. Yes! But ooh, ooh, a lot. I'm not sure how much how much of a break. No! read alouds right now um, and then we will split off into other subjects like math and spelling and reading and writing and writing I have to work on this um, birthday present for my pen pal Lexi yes yeah. Emma has a pen pal who has a, only written her one letter so we're trying yes, to entice but her to be fair I've only written her three it would be different if I writ have written her 20 yeah. Okay. But also, I'm hoping if I send her a birthday present, it'll like make her send more letters. But the thing that I'm excited about, Jack's pen pal, is like the day before, the day after Jack's birthday, and my pen pal is like two or three days before my birthday. Try and match. Mama, do you want to go to Sea Life? A, a music park. Actually, we can roll with Legos. We can um, roll. A mermaid life. We're 
are you doing, Emma? I'm making some tea. So we have only done history, and it's almost 11 o'clock. Um, we had a lot of interruptions this morning. Exploding yogurt <laughs> tubes, and that was from Jack, right, Jack? <laughs> we had, um, everybody needed a snack, like every three seconds. Oh, there's Izzy sleeping. Emma is now sitting down with her tea, and Jack is getting the science stuff ready. I'm going to make a salad. I, I eat salads all the time. So Emma was having tea and then uh, Jack accidentally dumped her cup over and now... Exploding yogurt number one, exploding <laughs> tea number two. Yeah, guys, try not to put your feet in that because it's going to be really chair. sticky. So Moving along, and I am kind of taking a break now. I want to watch the update on the Maine CDC, where the cases are in Maine right now for COVID-19. Um, it seems to go, go up every day, obviously, and so I like to keep on top of that information. Um, Emma is upstairs. She is working on her writing. My kids, thankfully, will do writing pretty much any time. They don't do as much formal writing that I say, okay, this is what you have to write. They're really good at creative writing. And they also enjoy research writing where they take notes on note cards and then put it together. Mama, I end up on my orange book. Yes, Lucy is working on um, handwriting without tears, the, the K book, it's the orange book. Um, which she really enjoys doing. Uh, yeah, we we are just trying to sort of catch up because like I said, you know, we moved a few weeks ago and we still have a lot of boxes that are not completely unpacked. And so it's been a little bit of a challenge um, this school year between listing our house and having like 30 plus showings in a very short period of time and then the holidays and moving and everything else. It's just been a little crazy. I was hoping for some sense of normalcy once we got to the house. We moved in, we unpacked most of our stuff and then coronavirus happened. So Wait, we're... How long has the coronavirus been out? Um, well, it actually came out I think in November were the first cases but the first cases in the United States I think maybe were at the beginning of February I can't remember but it's kind of the new normal the kids while we're we are homeschoolers so we're used to doing our school stuff at home they're not used to just staying in the house and not seeing friends or like going to the library or going to activities um, there's no tennis, there's no, uh, there's no band, um, no music stuff at all. So um, it is a little bit of a challenge, but we have a lot of property at our new house, so the kids are able to get outside. Of course, it's raining today. It was raining yesterday, so that's a little more challenging. Um, but when it's not raining, we can get outside and ride bikes and play in the yard and play with the dog, which is good. And I recommend fresh air for everybody. Vitamin D is good for, good for your immune system. Um, yeah, so we are going to continue with our school day. I do have some more reading that I'm going to do with the kids, but... You know, if you're if you're finding yourself at home all of a sudden and you're not normally a homeschooler, it's okay to just sit on the couch and read stories with your kids and talk to them and explore their interests and do art projects and make music together and play games, um, you know, bake cookies or, you know, it's a great time for home ec lessons that, that haven't really been taught for many years you know teach your kids how to fry eggs and um, sort of
be more self-sufficient um, so that you can take a little bit of the burden off of you. And don't stress. It is, uh, it's very difficult to, um, it's very difficult to make any sort of school at home model work because classroom management is so different than being at home with your kids. Having a teacher in a classroom dealing with 20 to 30 kids at a time is completely different than you at home as a parent dealing with your children who are your children and they don't look to you necessarily as a teacher, they look to you obviously as a parent. So don't stress about it, just enjoy your time together and build your relationships. <laughs> and yeah, so we're gonna continue um, our school break stuff right now and then I'm gonna make lunch and we'll see what the afternoon holds. What you working on, Lucy? Oh, so I did these. Do you know what any of those letters are? I don't know. Those are Q's and those are X's and they also did D's. Hmm. Those are E's and... Those are F's. Oh, F's and mm -hmm. D's. That's my copy book and I also did D's. You're, you're going right, right through the whole book, huh? And D's. You're doing a good job. Busy this morning, huh? <laughs> Hello. I'm on Google Hangouts. Ba! Lucy is wrong area. Ba! No. Please work. No. Wait, hang on. I think it's working. computer is very laggy. Very laggy as any other computer. Okay. What are you doing? I'm trying to get on to Google Hangouts. And what are you going to do on Google Hangouts? Um, I'm going to see if my friends are on and if they are, I'm going to chat with them. Because I like doing that. Because even though there's a coronavirus, I can still chat with my friends. Okay, Google Hangouts. Okay, so it's about 2.30 now, and we're done with school. Jack is um, on the computer right now using Google Classroom and Google Slides and stuff. Lucy, you probably can hear, is watching some sort of maybe a fairy show or something. Um, and Emma is still writing. Um, she's writing a story for her pen pal. I believe. Um, yeah, so we are just kind of laying low at home and trying to make the best of it. I'm trying to make sure that I really use all of our food. Um, yesterday I baked uh, some chicken thighs and then I made um, a soup that I had seen on Instagram from I th Heather Brugman. I think her Instagram is Northridge Farm. I will put it in the comments. Um, she is an awesome resource for recipes and homesteading and simple living. And um, she actually gave me a lot of great ideas when she was homeschooling her daughter, who is now in college, maybe a junior in college. Um, she had a lot of great information back in the day for me and so um, I'll leave a link to her Instagram so you can see the recipe but anyways I made this chicken soup and then what I did so I baked the chicken thighs and then I took the meat off and I put um, the bones and skin yes and fat and stuff back in the refrigerator and I'm going to um, simmer that for bone broth so that is something really easy that you can do if you even if you get like a rotisserie chicken 
um, at the grocery store or you bake a chicken, anything with bones in it, just put, keep the bones and um, if you're not gonna make the make it right away, you can throw them in the freezer or you can, you know, the next morning, just put them on to simmer. You can put them in the crock pot on low to cook all day um, and then you'll get a nice rich bone broth that you can use for soup in the future. You can freeze it or you can use it for dinner later on in the week. Um, I will probably freeze mine and yeah, that's just a simple, simple way to sort of lengthen some of your food products. Um, I have a lot of unpacking to do still in the house, but everything has been so up in the air that I have been focusing on making sure that we have all of the food we need because <laughs> we just moved and so we had eaten all of our food and so we essentially had, you know, some spices. <laughs> trying to grocery shop during this pandemic and make sure that we have normal food was slightly challenging but I think we're getting there and um, yeah I'm gonna make a list of meals with the food that we have on hand so that I just I don't have to think about it it's one less thing to think about if you you know taking some of the dish decision making away where you can just go down a list and say okay well I'll make this today I'm gonna make this we have all the ingredients um, it's something that I usually do anyways I have a list of meals that I can typically make from ingredients in our pantry um, the number one being vegetarian chili which is literally just beans and crushed tomatoes and um, peppers and onions if I have it and frozen corn super easy <laughs> um, in the crock pot uh, so I am going to try and clean up a little bit today and I am going to take a couple of deep breaths journal a little bit. I'm journaling through this entire experience. I had been journaling before during our move and it's kind of continued obviously. Um, I want a record of what's going on. It's something that I'll be able to look back on with the kids and the kids are also um, going to be doing some journaling just for their feelings and to stay on top of everything. But that is pretty much our day. Like I said, it's the afternoon. Everybody's kind of just into their own stuff at this point and um yeah so i hope you enjoyed following along and i will see you soon bye mm -hmm.